No, no, no. It's good on it's good on on streaming. Uh, that's strange. It should be good. Uh, we can hear Simic, but not Mike. Yeah, go. Hold on a second, guys. We are going to fix it now in a second. I think his audio is too low. Uh, oh, okay. I figured it out. Okay, talk about talk. Say something now. His audio is too hey low. there, guys. Uh, I think I think it should be good now. Right. Okay, talk about talk. Say something now. All right. audio is <clears throat> hey there guys all right fixed it all right well awesome. everyone's <laughs> you guys should have told me good. earlier <laughs> yeah what's up with that people were just like okay being too polite we won't say yeah. nothing yeah let's go from from too beginning polite. again <laughs> yeah i mean we still keep talking about yeah, i mean yeah, that's fine all right i was talking about you can yeah. edit it later it's okay it's okay yeah yeah i mean uh, yeah it's okay <laughs> <laughs> it's always a little bit of a mess up. It's because this uh, app, you know, OBS is uh, sometimes doing weird stuff and I have to reset it. Sometimes the audio doesn't come in. I well, have to change the settings again. It's, I, it's not, we haven't done this before, so. Yeah, but it's random. Sometimes it goes crazy. Like yeah. you saw, everything was crashing now before we go live. So, But you guys yeah, hear, yeah. hear him right. say something, but it's random. Testing, testing. Let me check it. Hey, oh, guys. How's it going? One second. All right, we are good now. Let's go. Awesome, awesome. So um, we were talking about fear, and uh, you were saying like, well, I mean, jobs look, and things like that. Yeah, like, well, not, it's not just fear, right? It's mastering the mindset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's everything. Work. I mean, I'm just saying, fear is everything. one of it, right? You want to uh, basically cover that and go ahead. Yeah, I, I, I'm constantly studying about how how the, the mind affects everything that you do and really your thoughts affect how you perceive the world too. I had this discussion um, with one of my mentorship uh, students where he would, he would know that his temper is a certain temper and mm -hmm. he would let it kind of string him along into certain situations. And it's, it's, it's pretty much the only person that can see your anger is you and pretty much going through life with a lot of anger, all you see is things that will make you more angry because you're, you're gravitating towards those things. They give you a, they make you happy in a weird way. They actually do. It releases more dopamine to be angry. Yeah. So all these things, like they say, and uh, worry is a habit too. It can be like a form of a habit. Um, you release, you get, you're essentially the more anxious and the more angry, um, the more intense all these emotions, the negative emotions that you do get, and even the positive ones, you, you have to realize that these all take a cost. And keeping a good mindset and being mindful, which means you're living in the present moment, you're not thinking about this thing or thinking about that thing. You're just going through the natural flow. And that's why that flow state is really important too. Because yeah. you can't get into a flow state without having a good mindset. You can't be distracted with stuff because it will take you out of the flow. You can't be thinking about and worrying about what are you going to do um, the next day or this because you never. This, there's a really big deal about being being mindful. It's it's when pretty much if you're talking to someone, you're not thinking about oh they've got a, a mole in their face, you know, and then you're thinking about you know the Austin Powers movie and that guy has a mole <laughs> in his face and he's just thinking mole mole <laughs> kind of a thing. <laughs> you're not thinking about that. You're taking in, you're not judging yeah. you know, these things that uh, when you don't practice judgment, when you look at somebody and you're talking to them, then you're able to take in the information more efficiently because you have to compute all those things inside your head because you're going to miss so many things if your mindset isn't isn't clear is you're not mindful of mindful means you're not mindful of the emotions you're going through and your thoughts that you currently have in your mind and so it's it's really just being present and going through it and mastering that mindset is also i'm not sure do you journal you mean like write, you writing stuff yeah journaling yeah, every day uh not write. every day, every day goes. no not every day but um Actually, that's one of the things I started doing last year, but I stopped it. Depends on the case. Oh. Yeah, sometimes if I want to do something uh, hard and it's like a lot of um, different steps involved, then I try to mm. write 
and a story or basically the way that I want to handle it. Um, and I'll write it down strategies, you know, things like that, because, um, I would, this, I would, this is very interesting. You're saying it because the other night I was telling yeah. my wife that when I have anxiety or stress is because in my mind, there's a lot of noise and it feels like I, if mm -hmm. I create an image, I actually create an image about it because I'm a very visual, very, um, like I can, I can create a stuff in my brain and see it, you know, clearly. Not exactly as clear as this, but I can see it. So it, if when when I have mm. anxiety or stress, it's everything is messed up like a noise, and they're not mm. um, put together in the right way. And then uh, when I start thinking about it, I'm like, okay, so what should I do next? I have all these cra crazy stuff like happening, all these like work and things that I want to do. So how can I put this together? Then I try to make images in my head and put those images together. To now at this time, I'm gonna do this. Next is this. Next is this, and I'm gonna make a like a checkerboard, you know, but uh, frame everything properly. And then I start writing stuff based on that. Mm -hmm. And then I, yeah. it, I, I relieve the anxiety and I start, to, I start to tackle each task uh, one by one, basically, based on the order that I put together. So, yeah, well, I was going to say, so what journaling does, it organizes thoughts inside yes. your head. Yes. It organizes. Them. Yeah. And, Believe it or not, it, if you sit there and you go, you're having a problem with something and you write it down and then you read it shortly after, it organizes it, it puts it down and almost takes it from here to there. Mm -hmm. Almost, just, yeah. it, it kind of stores it away, organizes it. You've like filed it under something, right? And yeah. it's just like there. Writing um, is very important. Like I can tell you, like the thing is the difference between writing and imagining is imagination is always imagination right it's not mm. reality it's just some f fake thoughts that you have in your brain but as soon as you mm. write the stuff down it becomes reality mm. right so one of the things actually people do i actually did something similar for myself like if you want to earn a certain amount of money write a check for yourself for example for i don't know three years from now and put the amount yeah. that you want to make. It should be reasonable. You cannot say in three years, I want to have $1 billion. That's just stupid. Like if, if we don't have the <laughs> yeah. funnels to make that money, then no. I mean, it might happen. You it's might be as smart year. and find a way to do it, but I don't know how Maybe. to do that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's always possibilities. Never but, never, but yeah. yeah, but I always I, I was say expect less from yourself to, and do more, achieve more, mm -hmm. you know? And that's like- uh, Make sure you're always doing. Yeah, I mean, I, I told you like the other day, like this year, I already achieved my financial plans, like how much I wanted to save, what I wanted to mm. do and things like that, like four months earlier, right? Mm. So that's good. Like whatever I do extra is like a, a, a bonus, an extra that I'm saving for myself and I can plan better for next year as well. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And what journaling does or what writing stuff or writing a check, you make it into a reality. This is real. It exists. You can touch it. You can feel it. You can see it. You know, it's not illusion mm. anymore. It's not just thoughts. And that yeah. actually puts you in a different realm. You know, reality comparing to just illusioning or like dreaming, it's well, different, I mean, right? You're just saying it. Like um, you're kind of saying it inside your head. You, yeah. Have you heard the thing where you actually tell other people about it too? You hold yes, I do that. I do that all the time yeah. because you're I like, want to be make uncomfortable. Kind of money. Yeah. You I mean, need to put yourself in like, hey, I said that to people. I better do it. Yes. Um, I actually heard the opposite. That that says yeah, yeah, I heard the opposite. I used to hear my friends were telling me, don't tell anyone what you want to do because um, it kind of makes you relieved and whatever. But I feel well, like I'm yeah. the opposite. When I tell you what I want to do, I'm on the spot and I have to do it. There's no other yeah. way. I, th I think, you know how you get, oh, you're going to jinx me. Or I think with a great idea, you don't tell people because you don't want people stealing those ideas. That's a difference. But yes. If you go around and you really are putting in effort to do it, I mean, if you're writing it down, it's kind of like you're just, you're putting it. So, you, you know, that thing where you go, you tell the subconscious mind it will believe it eventually. Yeah. Right? yeah so yeah. it will. The, the, the subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between you. Like it doesn't know the difference. It, it's just reading your, like you're telling, you're going to gonna say some words, subconscious mind will take it in. And so if you go, um, I hate being me, I hate being me, you eventually just hate being you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And this is why you you are your thoughts. You are what you say. And the 
effect of what you do affects you too. And what you eat affects you. Um, that, that's probably something I'm going to discuss with you. I'm going to make you into a, yeah. that's your extra edge for you. This is still mindset stuff. You um, like, so with me, my diet is completely clean. I didn't eat any crap, nothing. Yeah, I eat some crap sometimes. Nothing. You eat some crap, right? Yeah. And I reckon, well, I can safely say if you want that extra little, you know how we're saying 10%? Yeah. I actually reduce it. Like I don't get. eat ice cream anymore. I actually stopped Never it tried. last year, right? I changed my diet. I, I was saw you out. eating ice cream before. What are you talking about? No, no. Last year I stopped That eating. was ice cream. You're in <laughs> denial. Look no, at you. <laughs> I, no, no. This one, I was just eating a piece of cake, which is the same. It's no, no, still I've sugar. seen you eat ice cream. I've seen when? you eat ice cream. A month ago? Last week. The other two no, weeks. No, well, I stopped. Two weeks ago, yeah, I stopped. I'm not going to do it anymore. Ah. Like, yeah. I instantly, you're, I changed like you're this. You're a food junkie. You're a food junkie. <laughs> I know you're a food junkie. Because I don't gain <laughs> weight. I can use it, you know? <laughs> I know, but that's that's like a, um, that's like being a, a trust fund baby, <laughs> taking lots of drugs and enjoying your parents' money. I, I don't do it knowing, anymore. Hey, like, I don't need to work. Hey. <laughs> It doesn't affect me. I don't lose my money because I'm just <laughs> I'm getting more money. That's like you saying, well, I don't get fat. I mean, you still get unhealthy, and it's yeah. still extra. But you know what's interesting? Uh, I can I, I I can change instantly like this. I can decide to quit whatever I do immediately. I don't know. Food's a big one. I, I your, food's your vice. I can tell. Look I at you. No. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Look at you. No, I eat a lot I, of like but, uh, good food as as well, dude. Like. Um, Fruits, I know you. vegetable. You, you, you enjoy your tasty stuff. <laughs> you do. Because I think with you, you, you kind of have a vice and we all have a vice and controlling those vices are hard. It takes uh, that mindset. To I actually notice place. when I get anxious or excited or, or uh, when I'm thinking a lot, right? That's, that's what we're talking, mastering the mind, right? When I think a mm. lot, I need something to escape. And sometimes I do weird stuff like eat junky stuff like ice cream. Yeah, right. that's I don't normal. eat chips. You're I don't eat chips. But I actually change that to nuts. Like if I'm getting upset or whatever, I actually pick up a bunch of nuts and oh, look. pistachios, okay. things so like I'll, that. I'll discuss. I'll discuss that with you because that I think that is so. It's a it's a weakness. So you yeah. go towards the weakness. You're still numbing that emotion. You got to deal with that that feeling. So you you know how we're talking about the mindset and whenever you feel that urge to eat. Yeah. And it's not pure hunger. If it's just for enjoyment, don't do it. Go and go and meditate. Go for a walk. Go through the emotion. Let let it go through. Oh you. yes, yes. Analyze it. That's very interesting. So that's let me, doing. It's it's just true. Just I agree. Take it, take it on. I, I trust you, and I believe you. I'll tell you why. Because I will give you an example. I many times I actually stopped doing bad habits, and when I tried it again after a while, the bad habit, I was like, "What the hell this is?" And what what was I thinking when I was doing this? Mm -hmm. One of the examples is like, I used to play lots of games a lot, mm. you know, every day for a long time. Like I, 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 I'm working a lot as well. Like even at the time I was working a lot, otherwise I wouldn't be here. But I used to play mm. like when, like for example, Witcher came out, that was my second full-time job to finish the game. Okay. <laughs> okay. I barely got into being that full-time. I'm surprised you got hooked. Yeah. Um, well, can, no, I'm not surprised you got hooked. It was a fantastic game, but yeah. Um, but, but with your work ethic, I'm surprised you got hooked. Yeah, so, yeah, that's the yeah. thing. Now yeah. I'm done. Like, I'm not doing that because uh, yeah. last night I was playing a bit of Mafia because that's like a nostalgic game for me. I, I used to, I played it mm. when it came out back in 2002 and then they released a new mm. version. I was playing it last night and there was a race in the game. Dude, I just hated that race and I was like, this is <laughs> like, I, I was playing it for two hours. I couldn't win that race and I'm like, what the hell am I doing? What wasting are you doing? Two, hours. two hours. Yeah, two hours That's of crazy. my time. The yeah. time passed, and I'm not realizing what I'm doing. And I'm like, I don't want this. Yeah. I just stopped, turn, turned it off, yeah. and took out the yeah. PS4 and put it in the closet. I'm not going to use it anymore. I'm done. Good. I'm done. That's, that's 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 what you got to do. I because, mean, that's what you got to. Yeah. And yeah. I told this is what I told my wife. I said when I used to play a lot of games, I work in game industry myself, right? I need to maintain mm. it and play some games and stuff because I want to know what's going on. But back then, when I was playing mm. a lot of games. I was kind of frying my brain from seeing the real world, right? I, I couldn't control my mind anymore, if that makes sense. Mm. My, my whole world was going around this fantasy world, which is like playing games. And then um, uh, last night when I stopped playing this game, I realized what the hell, like I shouldn't do this because yeah. I don't need it anymore. My game right now is an mm. RPG game, which is real life and I need to improve myself. 
Round up. Improve, mm -hmm. yeah, improve yeah. my life, level up myself, right? My life and yeah. um, basically um, go to the next level, right? It's better than mm. actually. It's more fun than um, than playing the game and uh, you know getting stuck behind a race on, on a game and getting upset and whatever, mm. like reacting to it emotionally or playing FIFA, which is mm. uh, I hate it. I used to play a lot of FIFA, but now it's all about mm. like uh, you know stupid microtransactions or you know because <laughs> that's addictive. It that's is addictive, it. man, so, and and the things they put in the game. Yeah. It's just insane. Like it's it's just made to make mm. you addicted. And I'm thinking, I'm like, yeah. when a 15 year old or 18 year years old plays this game and pays a lot of stuff to buy stuff from the game, right? A lot of loot boxes and things like that. This this boy or this person forgets about life and forgets about controlling his emotions, his life, right? Because we are we mm. are getting addicted to something that is not real, and we forget mm. about what. The, the reality of life, right? Because mm. we let our subconscious mind to control ourselves, right? And then we want to win this game and no matter what, like playing five hours, ten hours and we forget about life. That's the hard part. And uh, and if we, if we can control it, that's fine, right? But if we cannot control mm. it, we are just missing life. And you're, you have a, um, so essentially you have a higher self and a lower self, right? The yeah. lower self is the addictive chimp. That is the chimp that wants to control have everything. All these things, yum yum, food, food, you know, indulge yep. in all the bad things in life. And um, that's how you got to think. You got to question this is my lower self. Do I want to be a chimp or do I want to be a, an involved human who, who can control themselves? And so you have basically the games reward you too much. Like, oh, dude, yes. Here Fake rewards. Course. Fake reward. That's the problem. Yeah. And, but the thing is, work is way down here, it's grindy. It's uncomfortable. It's not fun. But playing games is up here. And, so then and, you immediately go there. Yeah. And if you find the balance, that's good, right? The balance is exactly. I mean, so what you're doing for playing those games, you're just looking for dopamine. And then yeah. work would have got stressful. But so when, um, when you do work, essentially, it stresses you out. But you just need to take a break. Don't go and take a break to a point where it actually rewards you more. Because when you come back to work, and you're ready. It's going to destroy you. Can you. Actually, you can actually take a break for an hour, 30 minutes, and you can actually come back to work. And you'll kind of get the addiction to go back to work because work gives you that little slight drip feed of dopamine. And yes. all your neuro neurotransmitters get rewarded by doing that. And you get serotonin, all these good, good feeling things to actually motivate you. So you don't go towards the game, which it cranks out way more because it's designed in such a way or browsing the internet. You do nothing. Just sit down. Social take media, a break, man. Exactly the same thing. The same pattern Just is repeating everywhere. It's exactly mm. like, you know, Las Vegas, when you go to uh, basically gambling and stuff, right? You get addicted mm. to it if you cannot control that rewarding part of the brain. They give you a fake yeah. reward and, and then lo you lose 10 other games. I mean, yeah. it's the same thing with playing some of these games. It's like exactly doing the same thing and you kind of lose control of your mind. And and actually, since I stopped that, since I'm not doing it, and I'm looking for real reward, which is like the real mm. world, like working hard, um, choosing my goals, planning for my life or my future, things like that. Uh, when mm. I see the rewards, it's actually more interesting than playing a game. When I sit in front of TV, watch series, unless if it's an exceptional series that I really enjoy, I'll watch it, right? Once or, mm. I don't know, like maybe this year I'll watch like, two series that's it like in, i wanted to take a rest for a couple of days and i just watched those series and i came back to to work again right yeah um but if you if you when as you said like when you get fake reward you actually lose control of your brain it, it the, your brain controls mm. your body if that makes sense and you forget your that brain, you, or the governor yeah exactly but but there is a mm. uh, there's a there's a conscious mind that you can actually control your brain how you behave when you actually say yeah. I'm addicted to it, to this. I know I'm addicted. Maybe I shouldn't touch it, right? Mm. So when you stop those bad habits, when you stop, stop being addicted, uh, you can actually instantly change. I have, I have changed bad habits like this. I used to drink a lot of Coke. Mm. I stopped it. Just one day I said, mm. I don't want to drink anymore. My wife was upset. I'm like, no, we are not drinking Coke. That's it. This is the end of it. Yeah. We will not buy it. She, yeah. bu she wanted to buy. I was like, no, we are addicted. Mm. We didn't buy Mm. We don't touch it anymore. I don't buy any 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 sweet drinks. Nothing. Yeah. So, 
uh, I used to smoke uh, shisha sometimes. I stopped that completely. Mm. I don't mm. do it. I don't touch anything that any any sort of a smoke that goes to your, to your lung. I don't touch it. Mm. If that makes yeah. sense. And it's and it's because so I got control of my subconscious mind. I realized this is like my lizard mm. or monkey brain is telling me do it to do it because I'm I'm connected to that. Right. I need to cut the wiring. Well, there, there's also a, a part of you where you actually have to be. So you, so you can imagine you helping people and serving people rewards you too. And it gets you that feeling. So you can see that if someone eats a lot of food, um, they stay in their house all day, play games, and they don't talk to anyone. Right? Oh, They're man. just doing completely yeah. fake self, rewards. They're self-involved and yeah. self-rewarded. And um, we do live in that type of society. Now people are on the internet and we forget Hey, just like when I go for walks, I say, I say hi to everyone I walk past and then I'll make an effort to get to know them. If they have a dog, I'll dude, that's, that's so amazing. Dog, I used yeah. to play a lot of games. Always right? pat a dog. When you see a pet, when you have a dog, that's what yeah. Jordan Pearson always yeah. pat the dog. I've, I've like, Where's my dog now? like always everyone's dog get pat him. <laughs> He's not in the room, but yeah, I always <laughs> do that. Always... And, and you know, it's a great feeling. Yeah. What you said is like, you said, um, when you go out for hiking, right? I, I went out for hiking and it was a lot of fun. And mm. um, when I was like playing a lot of video games, it was, uh, I was just seeing something fake. I was feeding my, like I was, I like to play a lot of games with nature in it, right? Because, yeah, I mean, I was in a place where there was no nature. It was just desert, right? And I was like, okay, maybe yeah. I should, yeah. I should, I needed to feed that. But when I moved here, yeah. it's all nature. I don't need to play any games like that. When I do, I'm like, I want to go out. This nature in the game doesn't look right. It's 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 fake. I don't like it. You know, the thing is You're like playing uh, uh, Red Dead Redemption. Just enjoy. yeah. <laughs> uh, the problem yeah. is this: like we let we are not regulating it. We are not regulating ourselves, right? We let we let any any sort of like um, thing that comes like how do I say like anything that can influence us from outside, right? A video game is yeah. like controlling you a film can like watching a series addictive series can control you right because you want to see what mm -hmm. happens next if you can if you can control it and say okay i'm gonna watch one hour today i'm gonna play two hours of game this week right it's it's even more fun that way instead of like constantly wasting your time and not achieving mm. real life goals um yeah i mean yeah, it's however you want to set it up. I, I would like if you if it's not your goal to play games, and you you really got to get your ass into gear. I would actually just take maybe take it out of your take it out of your schedule for a little bit. And if you really want to do it, you do an hour. But you got to realize you, after that hour, you might have a, a feeling of feeling down, and you have to learn that emotion that. And not go back to like fulfilling that emotion with something else. Yeah. So analyzing your emotions and the mindset that you, because it's going to give you a high. I remember when I used to play a lot of Quake Live. It's a high. And it's I high. used to get a high from it. Yeah. And then you go a low. And the thing is, when you have that low, what happens? You actually look at other things to pick up that low feeling. Yeah. You just have to go through it. You've you've essentially essentially made attacks. You right? know what and helped me actually. Pay. So, when I started playing music, that helped me. That made me to change my mindset. Mm -hmm. I broke a lot of bad habits because of playing piano. A lot it's of because it's rewarding. Yeah, it is rewarding. You and you feel to, it in you. You replace the habit with a good one. Yes, and you feel it inside you. Or mm -hmm. reading books, man. Reading books. I cannot, I cannot recommend yeah. it. I don't know why people don't read books. I don't reading, understand. Reading actually gets you... Have you heard that saying? Reading gets you high? Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. When I start like... Information for the brain, it frees you... And you, you become like, I can traverse much more. Especially now. if you can read a book about the problems that you have. Like I was reading a financial book, 300 pages. I finished it in, in half a day. Mm. I couldn't stop. Nice. I had to finish it. <laughs> I, I read the book in a day. Imagine that. 300 pages. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I, it changed my financial um, uh, management, what, basically. Name? I think people might want to know. Huh? There's a What's bunch the, of them. The uh, one of them is, uh, there's a book from Dave Ramsey. Uh, it's called, um, let me see. It's basically Financial uh, Total Money Makeover. That's from 2003. That's an old book, but it's, it's a very good one. 
And then there is another one from Tony Robbins, the Money Master, the game. That's a big one, like 500. Yeah. There, I have a lot of books. I don't know. Like these are like financial books. These are good. There is this one. This is a very good one if people want to invest. This is like what Warren yeah. Buffett read for investing. Mm. Benjamin Graham, the intelligent investor. Mm. <clears throat> and I'm reading one now. It's called uh, uh, The Lean Startup. I don't have it here on my desk right now. It's outside. Uh, it's called The Lean Startup. It's it's a very good book to Actually, I recommend it to you, dude. Get the get the physical book and read it. Don't uh, listen to audio version. Just get the book. Get the, the, book. the Lean I Startup. Lean startup. Why the, read it? I can listen to because it. Because take no read it. Trust me. I, I listen to What's audiobooks. I listen I listen hey? to audio I listen to audiobooks. Why but this one though? Why why Because this one? some books you have to read them to actually grasp them better better. You you need to uh you need to actually be in the zone and don't be distracted by anything mm. else. Just focus on that book. Like I I'm, I do I'm, it when I I do it when I just do my automatic work. I can listen to things and take you, things in. I'm yeah, try to that. read it. Take this advice from your brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hang on. I've not, I've not sat down and read a book in like I think Do three it. or four years. All right. I'll give you two books to read. The the, audio books. I'll give you two books to read. Yeah. The Linus Startup and the Lynchpin by Seth Gooding. Lynchpin. Lynchpin? Yes. And I'm telling you, read it because... Oh, I heard that one. I was meant to get to that one. Because Seth I know what Gooding. you are trying to do, and you need to read this book and then get the audio version as well and listen to it as well. So you can actually review what you're doing. Lynchpin is a very good one. I actually got one recently. I forgot the name. I'm doing an Audible version of this. Um, let me open up my Audible. It's called How to Talk to Anyone. Oh, that's good. This is a very good one. And there is another one, Think and Grow Rich. That's a super good book, like from mm. Napoleon Hill. Everyone knows this guy. If you're into business and mm. stuff, you need to read that one what as I, well. What, what I take away from the Napoleon Hill one, because there's some bit of woohoo. I call that woohoo in it. Mm -hmm. I think it was one point in the book where he's like, I was just praying to get a million dollars and I got it. And I'm like, oh, that's not. <laughs> no, no, it's not that. It's not that. It's not that. <laughs> but like, no, no. But he did have. There was a comment like that in it, and I was like, ah. Oh. I mean, well, well, the you book. condition yourself, right? You condition yourself to get that one million dollar. You actually play the yeah, mind game, right. and then you work for it. It's not just sit on your couch. I cannot sit yeah. here and make a million dollar. But the way it, way it was said in the book, and I was like, oh, this is gonna put people off. And um, I, well, it depends it, on. I didn't grab it that way because I I'm familiar with this mindset, right? And when I read it, yeah. I was like, no, yes. I mean, I, I know what you're saying. People might get it wrong. Yeah. But if you mm. work hard, if you know what is working, uh, if, you, if, you know, if you understand the, how the universe works, basically, you're not going to miss, I mean, take it by mistake like that. A lot of people actually got rich because of reading that book. They got successful it's, because of reading that what, book. What I, it's what I take away. It's the same for religion. Um, religion is now not considered... Like we don't hold facts to religion, right? Yeah. Let's be honest. People don't hold facts to religion, but religion is a really good motivator. This is how I understand it. It's a fantastic motivator. And some people will hold facts to it, mm -hmm. but that's because you believe in it. But this is my opinion on it. I don't hold facts to religion, but I see, I see what it does and it's, it's an awesome motivator and it brings people together. And that's what you do need. You yeah. need motivation yeah. through, through talking and through speech. And things like that. I mean, there's a lot of things that could be um, like disproven, and but I respect, like I respect all religions from what what they are, and I yeah. can see, you know, just like the book, it might have some things that are flawed, but you can't, like, you can't completely agree with everything, right? Yes. Um, this is, but what it's fundamentally saying is just have a, really have a positive mindset. Don't let things get you down. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing, and. Be nice to your fellow man. Be, be positive because no one wants to be around a, a person that's going to um, kind of take from them, be or be angry at them, or be anything. Like you give off that energy to people, and they're not, they literally will not talk to you if if your energy is corrupted. People can sense it. People can sense when you're trying to take take from them. It's just 
you have to be a genuine person. You have to genuinely help people be honest and open. Yeah. And that's, this is, this is pretty much what it is. It's what, it's what religion teaches you. Um, but it's, I always think way back then we were probably, well, so we wouldn't have known, known what, what, was, what the hell was happening. So, I mean, we get disproven even scientific things now all the time. Yeah. So there's that, it's that thing. Um, you don't know anything right until you just keep learning. I mean, on essentially you don't know anything. We know whatever the hell we're talking about now. Hey, hmm. could be completely wrong about everything we talk about now. And it could be completely different in the next five years. So that's the crazy, crazy way. Yeah, you change over time. I mean, when you're growing a star, so yeah, evolution, evolution, evolution. evolution. Yeah. And, and you know, you can actually change your evolution. Like the way you well, evolve the, um, with your with your habits, not not genetics, just yeah. by by creating good habits or bad habits. Right? I mean, it, oh yeah, I mean, look at the there's, there's crazy things like um, if you see people who are in the sun too much and they end up looking old. I mean, that's like saying you aged quickly. Right? Yeah. The same yeah. thing for um, your environment, your diet, what your thoughts thoughts are that that shape you. Um, I mean, you could sit and just stress right out and that would age you too. I mean, another sometimes thing is, people don't age in the same way other people do through stress. So it's a very funny. It is. Yeah. And the other thing is this. Mm. Um, I forgot what I wanted to say. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, creating bad oh, habits, right? Creating bad habits um, can mm. change the course of your life, like the way you live and your future. Like for me, I started creating good habits when I started reading and I forced myself to read or when I was burnt out, I forced myself to do the job, right? That's the, that's the mindset game. Like uh, I, tried to, I tried to control my mind because, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to be successful the way I want to be, right? But the only way to know is if I do the job, if I put the time, if I keep the habit, right? Like uh, past two weeks, we didn't do this episodes because both you and me were extremely busy, right? But mm. now we found yeah. time. You said, let's do it. I said, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Right. So. I could say, and, I'm, and I've been working yesterday, I've been working today, right? Um, I could say, no, let's not do it, I'm tired. But I, mm. I conditioned myself, I created these habits that I have to do these kind of things um, to keep myself under track, right? To, to keep myself mm. under track to reach my goals, basically. Yeah, and it's, I, I would say it's endurance that you're building when you're yeah. about to give up. Yeah. That's endurance and you should take it as endurance. It's, it's uh, essentially, you know, if you're going to run up a hill and it was going to get hard halfway up and then you're going to do it every day and halfway up, it gets easier every day until you get to the tippy top of that hill. Yeah. You're only huffing and puffing on the tippy top of that hill. The same thing for your brain has that length of that, that, that type of stamina that you need to build. And I think people underestimate the, the stamina of, building stamina for the brain and like your attention to things has to be built. You don't just because you can think it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't going to make it. So yeah, you actually have to work towards it and, and build and lay down that groundwork. Um, when you say the stamina really, that you can increase that the capacity of it, right? Um, when you do more yeah. work and, that, and you, and you get optimized, like mm. I was telling you today about the way I stream and stuff, I changed the way I do it and I can sit in front of computer instantly switch things on and go fast. Like, that right mm. uh yeah that's also help that helps you to actually stay on track because you actually eliminate all the unnecessary stuff all the boring stuff and the only way that to, to do that is like if you do the work if you get through that until you discover new ways of like doing the job you know you master the game and you understand how to um basically optimize it i would say if that makes mm. sense like when you yeah. practice sculpting or, or music or doing something or learning how to record a video or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. In the beginning, it's hard. But when you do the work, you actually filter all the unnecessary stuff and you become more optimized and you save time. Mm -hmm. And you can use that time towards other things like reading books or uh, creating new habits, going to gym, things like that, right? Yeah. That's why mm -hmm. for me, every time I, I find an extra time, like recently, I'm, for some weird reason, this is a strange, like uh, I'm, I'm teaching, I'm doing the work. I'm playing music. I'm doing the podcast. Yesterday I had a live for some reason, because I, I learned after a year of doing all of these things, I learned to optimize it. I, I have extra time now. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Where is this coming from? <laughs> yeah. 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 So 
I'm going to yeah. use that extra time for something else. You know, that's mm-hmm. why we're sitting here and talking now because I found a way and I said, I shouldn't be this extremely busy. I need to be able to control myself and my time better than this, you know, yeah. plan better. All those micro distractions and yeah, really being, you know, being on social media, playing games here and there. Like if you think oh, you don't need to do that thing, don't do it. Um, even just grabbing your phone and looking at it for, a, I don't know, five minutes too long. Just chuck it. Get rid of it. It's, a, it's an addiction. Just I realize these are an addiction. I don't check Facebook anymore. I just yeah. post this stuff. Yeah. If people ask questions, I answer them and stuff. But I never check I do any a of this. Once yeah. a week on everyone's stuff. That's, that's yeah, it. that's like, but not every day like this, you know? That's like killing yeah, your like time. Crack. It's like getting some crack and you yeah. just go, yeah. Give it's me. addiction. Yes. It's good. addiction. It's like doing that. It's, it's the same thing because you're seeing all this amazing stuff and all this cool work. Yeah. Like I did it last week and I'm like, holy crap, everyone's awesome. You know? <laughs> yeah, like, that's true. Everyone is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, close it down now. Go. I've, I've taken it in. Now, don't think about how everyone's awesome because that will get you down. You know, yeah. don't compare yourself. Yeah. Don't don't be envious. Don't be jealous because you just got to work on your awesomeness and, uh, and express yourself. Grow. So, I mean, I you you haven't started any type of meditation, have you? I'm meditating with music. When I play piano, that's meditation for me. Yeah. Okay. You don't know yeah. how it feels, man. You have to learn how to how it is. Like when I'm so stressed, I just play and it all goes away. Like I'll tell yeah. you this. I'll tell you this. This is very bold. Okay, ready? Mm. If if I could just play piano, and I wouldn't like have I didn't have any goals. I wouldn't like have to work or anything. I would just cancel mm. everything and just play piano. No, yeah, that's yeah. pretty hardcore. It's powerful. Yeah, it does yeah. something to your brain. Nothing else does. Mm. I would just remove it's, it's everything. Huh? Yeah, feeding must be feeding. Yeah, in yeah. Such a way. I wouldn't know what's happening exactly, but um. It's yeah, it's it feeding your brain. You. It's the vibration of the music. When you understand how to play, when you control your fingers, it's it's so satisfying, mm. man. I, I cannot tell you. Like one of the reasons I'm working hard now is because I want to achieve all the things that I want to achieve as fast as I can so I can focus more on playing music. I used to play practice yeah. five hours every day before I start wow. doing yeah. a lot of different things at the same time. Like yeah. this time that That's I'm talking really cool. to, to you now, this is my practice time. I should have I should be sitting there and practicing piano. But because yeah. obviously this is something that we are trying to build, we're trying to give to the community mm. and all that. So this is also, it's, it's satisfying like that. Uh, mm. uh, yeah, so. I mean, we could take, so, I mean, we've got about 20 minutes to go until the hour's up. Yeah, we, we could can, uh, take yeah. some answers, ask some questions. Why do I say answers? Jesus. Because you're thinking about answers. There's like eight people watching. I'm thinking now. Too, too ahead. I'm thinking to the next point. No, I mean, I'm not sure if everyone has any questions. See, since we got to do it weekly, the view count went down, right? So, because people are like, oh, it's yeah. all gone. You know, yeah, it's not you gone. Be- we are trying to find the balance right now. It's hard to, yeah. with everything we are doing, it's hard to just do everything and do this every week. But let's yeah. keep it. Let's try and do it every week from now. Yeah. Oh, we can do that. That's for sure. Um, I mean, with sculpting anymore? Oh, that's a good question. Do you guys feel like you are not in love with the sculpting anymore? Uh, you do fall out of it. I mean, it's not as exciting it. as it was before, but I feel mm-hmm. like, um, no, actually it is exciting to be honest. It's hard to say it's not, it is like when I mm-hmm. sculpt, I actually, it's like meditating. It's the same rhythm that I have in music when I sculpt when I mm. sculpt in ZBrush or actually I'm, I'm more interested now. I want to one day try to sculpt by hand. Like, cause I tried yeah. one. It was so much fun. It's meditating because yeah. you're, you're dealing with rhythms and forms. Music is the same. When I play piano, it's the same mm. thing. Exactly. Like it's in a different form in musical. It's a different physics, different type of physics, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's a different, but I feel like, no, I, I actually hard to say, like when I sculpt for myself, it's a lot more fun. Mm. it's a lot more fun yeah if you if you look yeah. at the fun aspect but if you're th- talking about the business side when i do the client work i i need to do the best mm. when, I, when i see my clients are happy that makes me happy when i see like when yeah. i teach when i see people like that i'm teaching they're happy that makes me happy it's a different fun i cannot say like uh i'm not like before 
I mean, client work is always not as fun because you're really not expressing yourself. You have to um, get what they would like. Um, you are expressing yourself to a certain extent, but it's because you're not, you know, it's like playing someone else's music. You're not being fully creative with it. I mean, it's probably oh, more no, fun dude. to... Yes, yeah. that, I want to, I want, actually, I started composing in, a little bit. I dropped it again. Mm. I was actually playing uh, a bit of like improvising without any music. I was just playing, uh, improvising because I was mm. learning how to compose. I feel bad mm. now when I talk about it because I'm I'm doing less um, practice these days. Uh, but Maybe I, I need to do shift. that. Huh? Things shift. It's not yeah. like you're um and you the, you bought the piano as an investment for you to. No, I'm I'm gonna continue. I'm I'm actually it, playing yeah. some Chopin and, uh, Franz and and France Litz and music like that. But the thing is, uh, yeah. because I, because of the, the pandemic, I cannot go to my teacher. I did live uh, teaching, but, yeah. but music is something I have to be there. Like when it, when it was teaching me per person to person, it was different. You know what okay. I mean? Like, you can't have it over Zoom or something like on that. On Zoom is hard. Like I, I, feel, I didn't feel like oh. I'm, I'm enjoying it as much. It was just yeah. mechanical. It was just fake. And, and when, when I'm playing, it's hard to trans because music is very touching. Like you should be there. Especially when you play live, you should be there to feel mm. it. Mm. You know, I don't know if you have you heard anyone playing piano in front of you. No, I well, think I think you will be like surprised how good it feels. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's just it's, it's something about the chords. I think they would in. No, they kind it's of, about the vibration, the vibrate, the, the tones, yeah. the the tonality of the music. The I mean, that's why like some music like Chopin or or Franz Liszt or Beethoven, Mozart, mm. you know, Bach or. Um, Mm. Um, all of these guys, Brahms, classical music, classical romantic era, or even Baroque mm. period. Yeah. When you listen to them, there's a different, especially when someone mm. plays it in front of you. There's actually a question. Let yeah. me ans answer that. It's about CG. Uh, would uh, what would you, uh, what advice would you give to someone who is looking to a mid-level position? Um, uh, my first advice is like, don't look for the position. <laughs> Because position doesn't mean anything. It's just a, a label that y you get to get paid a certain amount, right? Uh, always aim for the best quality. Always aim to do the best thing you can. Keep your clients happy. Mm. Uh, keep yourself happy by doing personal work. Um, and the position doesn't matter. I mean, you will, yeah. you will go up in the rank. If you don't, you'll find another job that they would hire you for senior position. If you don't like senior, mm. someone would hire you for lead. It's just like add to your knowledge as much as you can and beyond CG. I mean, CG is not the only thing. Like sculpting is not the only thing. When I started mm. playing piano, yeah. actually, it's interesting. Someone messaged me this. I wasn't. I was surprised when he told me this. Um, when I started playing piano, I started taking photo, photo pictures, like photography with my camera. Uh, I was playing piano and I and I felt a connection between music and photography and play and sculpting. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize, I didn't know about this before. It's fascinating. Like I was playing piano, I could hear, I could see the notes in color in my brain, which is weird. Oh, wow. Like C is white, D is um, orange, E is green, F is um, blue, G is, uh, sorry, D, uh, G is, yeah, G is, G is orange, D is yellow, G is orange, A is uh, red, B is dark blue. Okay, and I always say this the same way because that's how I see the notes in my brain. And then someone messaged me and he said, let me read this. I didn't know about this, right? Because I played music, I realized about this. Um, it's called synesthesia. Oh. There are, there are certain thing. people, yeah, because I can see the notes with, in color. And the more familiar I get with music, the, the more clear the colors become in my brain. How do you know what colors to come up with, though? It's just random. It's, it's just like that. Like, I see C yeah. always is white. Wow. Yeah, it D must, is always yellow. It must yellow. be like a, a hearing conversion to color for yes. your brain yes. to yes. organize automatically. C, and C always yellow. D always, sorry, C always white. D, D is always yellow. E is always green. I don't know why E is green. Like, it's just always hmm. green. F is always uh, blue. Uh, G is always orange, A is always red, uh, B is always dark blue. So, so I, th so the the thing is like what I wanted to say is this: 
when you try something different, it actually opens up new ideas for you to, uh, basically to explore. Mm. Right. So, I, I mean, I, I didn't know I, I can be good at playing piano. And my teacher was saying, I, I, I'll tell you, this is funny. Like one day I went to, to, to the class. He was, I was going to his house. He was teaching me on his own piano. He's extremely good, very good jazz player. I was like asking every mm -hmm. time to play. It just like blows my mind. And then mm -hmm. it's just amazing. And then one day I actually composed like uh, two measures of music. And what I played for him, he was like, he, st he stood up and he's like, I knew it. I knew you can do it. This is amazing. <laughs> I was like, what mm -hmm. the hell? This guy is 65 years old. You know, he was excited about it. I was like, what? What yeah. did I do? <laughs> <laughs> and he said, he said, not many actually can do this this fast. Like you're, you, you're music musical. I didn't know about this. He told me mm -hmm. like, you're musical. And he, he, it's just interesting. Like, um, I think a lot of artists do art are you can go in between different uh, forms of art, essentially. Yeah, because it's all connected. Like, um, standing. Yeah. For me, it's like colors. Um, they're connected to to music, to a sculpting. Yeah. Like when I play music, it's the same form with the sculpting. Like, think about it this way: Chopin. On his music, um, I don't know how to describe it. He has like moments that are sad; you can feel it. And there are moments that are actually when he he does passages, really fast passages with a lot of like notes on it, or um, you know when he plays chromatic uh, scales. Uh, mm. He's trying to actually talk about like I don't know. Sometimes I feel like he's he's trying to talk about like a change, you know, moving to another yeah. phase. Or you know when he's sad, he's like playing a scale or or. Um, passage and it's like fast and more energetic it, it means like something haven't happened there right and there's mm. like between the rhythms i'm playing there's like um there's there are gaps there are like um sections that are you play less notes more chords it's like soft and some some areas are like more crowded there is a balance you know mm. like you know what when you talk about golden ratio and things like that the same thing yeah. happens on a sculpting right you have uh, primary forms, secondary forms, tertiary forms, details, which is like full of noise, like that passage when you play fast, you know, I compare mm. to that and playing music actually helps me to understand the sculpting better. I, I feel like yeah. it's touching the same area on the brain. Like I can, I can see yeah. design better now. I can see flow of the muscle, uh, like forms better now. Yeah. Everything complements one another. Yeah. Everything is in a certain harmony with things. Everything it's, does have that. Look at nature. Because so, we, we live in the same universe, yeah. right? Mm. It's one universe. It's all connected. It's all physics. So, I mean, do you want to finish it there? I think we're probably um, out Yeah, we of, can um, finish it. I don't know if people have any questions. Getting away from the topics. Yeah, let me topic actually... No, no so, it's actually related. Mastering the mind, right? And like doing all these things mm. helps you to master In a way, in a way. Yes, it is. Um, yeah. but, let uh, me actually see what if people say anything... Uh, I'm just reading some comments. I guess there's no questions. Yeah, we'll just we'll just leave it there. I've got to get going. Can't guess I do. out Me too, too much. I need to go play some piano and read some books and finish the night for tonight. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. All right. All right, everyone. It's uh, been another fun, fun podcast and... Uh, Glad everyone has showed up and We're like keep and this. subscribe. I think they already and, subscribed. Uh, go to CMAX channel. It will be in yeah. the link's description. Check out his stuff. Go and yeah. have a look. He's got some awesome things there. He's doing, yeah, just keeping like busy. You. Keeping He's busy. busy <laughs> yes. You got to get a t-shirt right, for yourself, man. Get a t-shirt. Yeah. yeah. Man. Yeah. Man, I don't know. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll sure? actually look into that. I'll take your uh, suggestion, on that. man. Where man comes to learn. That's where um, that's where I'm playing into my yeah. initials or yes. my name. Yeah, hey, should tie should tie it. It ties it perfect. So yeah, you said it now, to... so you should do it next time. You yeah. order it right now, right away. Go to man, Google and search man, for t-shirts and put the logo and yeah. just do it instant like this. Fast. Yeah. Don't waste you time. Can't think about it. You never do it. No, you have to do it now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You it. always I'll live when one. there's like more people watching, but that's good. Let's go. <laughs> oh, you always, hey, you should show up earlier, guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, you have your mentorship uh, on, yeah. right? So, yeah, I still have my mentorship. Yeah. 
I'm starting another class mm-hmm. next Saturday. But right now, I think it's it's full for now. Yeah. I might take I have, um, later. My mentorship, I, I'm thinking about doing a second class if there's enough interest in the second class. But I have uh, a current mentorship class going to it too. And I still do the other mentorship, the one-on-one mentorships, if anyone is interested in that. So, all right. See you guys there's, next uh, time. No other, right. Yeah, another living notes and... Uh, Next Saturday, next week, next week, Monday, your time. Cheers, guys.